Hello Freedom Family and welcome back to Ask Obits, where your questions always will be answered. Today's first question is from Bubblecock Studios. Do you know how long it takes to get a custom URL? Hashtag Ask Obits. It's actually very easy to get your own custom URL. You might think that this is only an option for bigger channels, but today YouTube also gives a chance to the smaller channels. If you search custom URL on Google, you will also find this page. But now we can go through it together. So the few requirements in order to qualify for a custom URL sounds like this. Be in a good standing, have 100 or more subscribers, be at least 30 days old, have an uploaded photo as channel icon, have uploaded channel art. So let's say you're qualified to get your own custom URL. Then all you have to do is go to your channel tips and there you can see the get your custom URL. If you don't see it on the front page, then click view all and there you can scroll down where you will find the get your own custom URL. Hashtag AskObits. I know there isn't a shortcut in YouTube growth, but I just would like to ask, besides the usual things, like good thumbnails, titles, tag descriptions, etc., what do you recommend in order to grow your channel and get exposure? Social media is already a given one, obviously. Okay, so besides all these good solutions here, there are still a billion ways to grow and get exposure. And I would like to make the tip of the day um, whenever you make such a comment here. So for each episode, I will take one of these comments here and then I will give a tip of the day because I realized that there are so many comments about how to grow your channel. There is obviously no easy way to grow your channel. It is hard work and it takes a lot of time and effort if you want to be successful on YouTube. Some people might be lucky, but that, that isn't always the case. So the tip of the day would be to go to other people's channels. So I know you already do meaningful comments in the comment section below here on Freedom's channel, but if you do that as well on other people's channels, then think about if the content creator actually notice you that person will not only keep you in mind but the entire audience of his her channel will also notice you and then they will eventually go to your channel because they see that you are interested in this channel they see that you pay attention to their favorite youtuber so they will go to your channel and they will subscribe and like and comment and if you do good content they will stay on your channel because you're awesome hashtag askobits what are some of the best practices or etiquette when interacting with the Freedom family on the forums? The most common conversation on the forums right now is how to grow your channel. You know, tips and tricks for smaller channels. So I would encourage you guys to go to the forums and find these threads and then help the people out there so we all can grow together as a family. Also, down in the comment section, you know, the community team is there to help you. Not only to answer comments, but also to help you with tips and tricks on how to grow your channel. Hashtag AskObits. It's a dangerous to vary your YouTube content too much. Like I want my viewers to be interested in at least most of my content. I wouldn't say it's dangerous to vary your YouTube content too much because in the end it is your channel. It's your decision and you decide whatever you feel is best for your channel. Your audience will get used to it eventually. And if you do some of the requests and if you listen to your audience from time to time, they will accept the things you are doing. So if you like to do one kind of content, then stick with that. And if you like to do a lot of different kind of content, then stick with that. If you have asked me in 2012, my answer would be different because at that time you should stick with one kind of content. But we're in 2016 and 2016 people can do whatever they want on their channel because so many big channels are starting to do different kind of things. For example, if you are a makeover channel, you start to do vlogging. So feel free to do different kind of content on your channel, as long as you're happy with the content that you're providing. I hope that answered your question. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really hope that you got something out of it. And remember, I will always try to answer your questions the best way possible. And before I end this episode, I just want to give the shout out from the community team. So today's shout out goes to... Matsi. In the next Ask Obis episode, there will be a new person from the community team who will get a shout out as well. But for now guys, stay groovy out there and have an awesome time!